All right, Shalom. Shalom. My brothers of Great Millstone, Chicago, come with another lesson through the Spirit. First and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and salutations to all you Akhtiam around the world preaching the gospel in truth and in sincerity, always in charity. Now, um, this lesson is pretty much going to be a response lesson to uh, the video Apostle Tahar did earlier. You know, uh, uh, he showed that boxing dude, the boxing dude, I forgot his name, but he gave he gave all praises uh, uh, and thanks to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, you know. And uh, uh, the title of uh, uh, Apostle Tahar's video was, um, Your Labor is Not in Vain. And we must believe that, man. You know, because all these different athletes and all these different, uh, 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 what you would call stars in this world, you know, they're waking up to the fact that you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are Israelites, man. You know? And that's a sign that we at the end of this. So, uh, uh first scripture, can we get uh, Hebrews 6 and 10? And brother hold Hebrews 11 and 6. This is Hebrews 6 and 10. It says, For God is not a righteous to forget your work and labor of love, mm -hmm. which ye have showed towards his name. And that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. And do minister, man. So the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love that you show toward his name. Why? Because the, the, we're doing these things in the name, in the faith of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah, man. Can we get that Hebrews 11 6? It's uh, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. Mm -hmm. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is. And that's what his name means, man. Yah, Yah, He, Hawa exists. He is, man. You see? Go ahead. And that He is a rewarder of them that dil diligently seek Him. And that He's a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. So we gotta, uh, we gotta uh, 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 have faith and have confidence that a reward is at the end of this thing, man. For all our labors, for all our love that we've done. Can we read that Hebrews six and ten again, Bible? For this is Hebrews six verse ten. It says, "For God is not unrighteous." To forget your work and labor of love, uh -huh. which ye have showed towards his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. And do minister, man. So the Most High is not unrighteous, man. He said in the book of Ezekiel, are, uh, are not my ways equal? So the Lord is, is, is fair, man. He judges in equity. The word equity means fairness, uprightness. So we put all this, all, all, all this uh, work towards his name. Because those are the names we come in, man. Because those are the names we believe in. Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. So all the work that we put in to his name, man. The Most High is not unrighteous to forget all that, man. As it says, what, uh, uh, I think it's Ezekiel, the third chapter and the 33rd chapter. You know? The Lord set up as watchmen to warn the people. That's our job, man. And he also says, what, that uh, uh, if a righteous man return from his righteousness... None of it shall be remembered. But if you continue in your righteousness, guess what? Your name will be written in the heavens, man. You're going to have that reputation. Because the Hebrew word for name is sham. And another definition of it is reputation, man. You know how people will meet somebody and be like, yeah, your name precedes you. Your reputation precedes you, man. Just like the name of King Solomon. When, 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 when uh, the Queen of Sheba came. She said, we have heard of the fame of Yahweh that he have bestowed upon your house. You know? Can we get 1 Corinthians 15, 58? And whatever scriptures you brothers got, you know, y'all brothers can, you know. I got a quick precept. Uh, Let it ride, bro. This is um, Psalms 27 and 13. It says, I have fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of Yahweh in the land of the living. Mm. It says, wait on Yahweh, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I said, on Yahweh. Mm. You got it, brother. Like the brother said, going back to that name, man, the, the Lord is a is a rewarder of those that diligently seek Him, man. You know, so uh, when was the righteous ever forsaken, man? Yeah. Every time you read these scriptures, the, the name of the Lord it was expounded by what? By Him taking care of His men, man. The same thing He said to to, to uh, the same thing Joshua had asked Him, like, why are you jacking us up, Lord? It had to be like a reason that we was going off, man. But the Lord is not going to ultimately let let His men, you know, for uh, His name's sake, be be destroyed, man. Yeah, because why? Because you laboring in sincerity toward his name, man. Like it says in Judges, what's that, 5 and 11? That they shall rehearse the righteous acts because the Lord know that you're doing it to the best of your ability out of sincerity of your heart, man. It says that the Father seeketh those to worship him in spirit and in truth, you see? 
Whatever. Backing up the brother. This is um Matthew 19, verse 27. It says, Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? And Yahusha said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me, and the regeneration when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And every one that hath forsaken house, or brother, or sister, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive an hundredfold, and shall inherit everlasting life. You know? Hey, so, hey, doing this work, man. Hey, like the like scripture that we brought out. Hey, the Lord is not unrighteous to forget for, to forget your labor of love. All right, you know. So if if you endure in this in this, in this truth, man, and, and strive to the end, hey, if you be if you be a part of that number, hey, you gonna receive a hundredfold, man. You know. It says, uh, but many that are first shall be last, and they it's like and, and the last shall be first. I know. This is uh, Revelations twenty two and twelve. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. You know? Hey, so if, you, if you're diligent, uh, if you stay diligent, and say, how about me, how Shaq comes back, you know, you're going to get the reward. You're going to get that, that crown of righteousness. Mm -hmm. And it says, according to your work shall be, man. So if your works is evil, you're going to receive that recompense for that as well, man. You're going to receive reward for your evil works. Mm -hmm. And if your works is good, you're going to receive reward for that, you know? And brother grabbed that first Corinthians fifteen fifty eight. Yeah. First Corinthians. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So uh, first Corinthians. Repi, repi, grab uh, Matthew nine verse thirty seven. It's so, uh, first Corinthians fifteen and fifty eight. It says, "Therefore, my beloved brethren, mm -hmm. be ye steadfast. Be steadfast, man. Be firm, mm -hmm. integrity. You know. Go ahead. Unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Most High. Always abounding in the work of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man." Go ahead. Thank you. Because, because this word should be uh, uh, in your mind, man. You should be meditating all day, every day, man. You know? Now, of course, we go out and do our, our, our carnal things, whether we play basketball, whether some of us box, whether some of us uh, 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 work out, you know? But even during that, your mindset, your mind is still uh, in the heavens, you know? Your conduct, your manner of life is still in the heavens, man. Before we, before we decided to do this lesson, we were just sitting around, you know, just, just just talking shit like brothers do, man. And the spirit hopped on us, like, hey, man, you know, hey, let's do a lesson. Why? Because the spirit, the uh, uh, the spirit of Yahweh Yahweh Shai is always dwelling within our hearts, man. Which is His word, you see. Go ahead, bro. For as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the in the Most High. See, as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain, man. So everything we doing, hey, is going to be a reward at the end of this. You see? This is uh, Psalm 68 and 4. It says, Sing unto the Most High. Sing praises to his name. Extol him that rideth upon the heavens by his name, Yah, and rejoice before him. So like the brothers were saying, man, we're supposed to be down here on the planet rejoicing the Most High. For one, he's pouring his spirit back onto the earth, man. Okay, our people are not just magically waking up and, and coming to the fact that they're uh, Israelites, man. The Lord is pouring His Spirit back onto earth, man, because ultimately Esau is about to get His judgment, man. The Most High is—he's fed up with the with the so-called white man or or the biblical Edomites, man. And so our job is as Israelites is to come back to the Most High, man, and, and constantly praise His name and constantly stay in the spirit of, of His of His Son's gospel, man, and of all His law, statutes, and commandments that our forefathers were given by the Most High. All right. Can I get a piece of it? Yeah, it is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 6. But I say, mm -hmm. he which soweth sparingly That's on the list. shall reap sparingly. That's right. And he which soweth bountifully shall reap bountifully. So, you know, if you're here just lollygagging and not doing the work, you know, you're just going to reap just a little bit. And if you really want to go home, you're going to push this word. And touch out every Israelite as possible, you know, to wake up the elect in the one third. That's what we're trying to reach. Hey, that's beautiful because we gon' we gon' we gonna jump back because that's on the list. We're gonna nice. go back to that scripture. Can you hit that Matthew 9? Okay. That, 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 this, yeah, this is pretty much the uh, uh, uh the gist of his lesson. Because if you believe that there's a reward at the end of this, man, if you believe that there's a reward for, for this labor of love that we're doing, man, 
then you should be always abounding in the word, just like we read in 1 Corinthians 15. Can you hit that scripture, Brother Pasha? Uh, Matthew chapter 9, verse 37. Mm -hmm. Then saith he unto his disciples, The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Right, man. The laborers are few, but the harvest is plenteous, man. So picture this. It's a big-ass field. You know what I'm saying? Big-ass field that you got to reap, man. You know, full of corn, full of cucumbers, watermelons, and whatever. Big-ass field, man. And it's only a few reapers that got to reap, man. Mm. You see? The harvest is plenteous, but the laborers are few. The laborers are us, the Lord, Lord willing, the elect men, the prophets, us out there teaching the word. And guess what the harvest is, man? The harvest is, is, is those wheat that we're gathering into the barn, you know? The rest of our elect brethren need to be woken up, you see? Go ahead. Uh, verse 38. Pray ye therefore, Yahweh of the harvest. That he will send forth laborers into his harvest. Exactly, man. So pray ye the Lord of the harvest that he has sent more laborers, man. How do we gain laborers? What is that? Um, 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 uh, Romans 10, faith coming by hearing. And hearing by the word of the most high, man. So that's how we gain more laborers is by pushing his word. So more brothers can wake up so they can start laboring as well. You know? So we can get out of this place, man. Revelation the seventh chapter says what? That the, the four angels are holding back that destruction until the uh, uh, the seal is a uh, 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 seal in the, uh, uh, the mind of the servants, man. You see? So once that seal is sealed, man, hey, 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 that's our salvation, man. So that's why we should be pumping this word, man. If you believe that there's a reward at the end of this, your labor is not in vain, man. I think it's ten and um. Ten fourteen. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, bro. This is uh, Romans chapter 10 and verse 14. It says, How then shall they call on him on whom they have not believed? Start up, start up. What 13 say? It says, For whosoever shall call on the name yep, of the yep, Lord. Yep. This is uh, ten, uh, Romans 10 and 13. It says, For whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Exactly, man. His name is dreadful among the heathen. So they, they ain't talking about no goddamn heathen, man. Let's talk about Israelite. Whosoever out of the Israelites call upon the name of the Lord. The precept to that is Joel, the second chapter. I believe it's the last verse, man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. So it's verse 14. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? Mm -hmm. And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? Mm -hmm. And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they hear without a preacher, man? So how can they believe and enter into this work if nobody ain't out there teaching the word, man? You see? So we got to be always abounding, unmovable in the, in the work of the Lord. Because we know that our labor is not in vain, man. From there, can we go to Matthew 25, brother gets verse 24, and brother holds Sirach 30, 31. Another brother holds Ecclesiastes 9 and 10. Uh, this is uh, Matthew 25 and 24. Then he which had received the one thousand. Right, now you can read, you know, you brothers, I encourage you brothers to read this parable on your own. You know, but we just going to get this one point. One servant was given ten talents, one was given, I believe, five talents. You know, and this servant was given one talent, right? Go ahead. Then he which had received that the one talent came and said, uh, Lord, I knew thee that thou art a hard man, reaping what thou hast not sown, and gathering what thou hast not struck. And I was afraid, and went and told, and went and hid my, thy talent in the earth. Lo, there thou hast that is thine. Right, so he got this knowledge, but he didn't do nothing with it, man. He held it unto himself. So you getting this knowledge and you knowing you Israelite and you not doing nothing about it, let's see if the Lord agree with that. Go ahead, bro. 26. His Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful servant. What did y'all call him? Thou wicked and slothful servant. Right, man. So once you get this word, once you get this, uh, uh, this truth in you, because you got all these niggas on the internet, Instagram, Facebook and shit, all on our comment boards. Oh, y'all, 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 don't talk to the people like that. And you ain't supposed to teach it like that. And you teach it like this. But there ain't no videos of you out there teaching that. You trying to teach the teachers. But you ain't teaching. Well, 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 where's your videos at? The scripture says, wisdom cries without. She uttered her voice in the streets. The scripture says to go to the highways and hedges and bid them to the marriage, man. That's just how, that's how you're going to get laborers into this. We praying that y'all by shot y'all shot continue to wake the brothers up, man. We praying for more utterance in the spirit to be laid upon the apostles and elders of great millstone on down to us brothers. 
so the word of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua can go out free course, man. Why? So we can wake up the elect and get the fuck out of here, man. That's you right. see? Go ahead, bro. This says, the wicked and slothful servant. Speak up a little bit. Uh, back on Matthew, Matthew 25 and 26. His Lord answered it and said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful servant, thou knew, knewest that I weep where I sold not, and gathered where I have not straw. Mm -hmm. Thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the exchangers, and then at my coming I should have received my own with usual. Mm -hmm. Take therefore the talent from him, and give it unto him that which had ten talents. Which verse is that? 28. Read 27. 27 says, Thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the exchangers, mm -hmm. and then at my coming I should have received my own with usual. Right, man. You should have gained more. So the one talent you, that, 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 that Yahweh Basham Yahweh gave you, man, hey, well, you were supposed to flip that. You were supposed to make another talent. You know? You don't sit on this word, man. You don't sit on this knowledge. You go out and disperse it in the streets. That's Proverbs tell us, man. It said, let your waters be dispersed in the streets. The waters is this knowledge. Yahweh Basham Yahweh is the fountain of living water, man. So we should be dispersing this word abroad, man. What did the Lord say about that the, uh, that God that hid his talent? He said he appointed him uh, 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 his portion with the unbelievers. He appointed him his portion with the unbelievers, man. So if you ain't out here gaining uh, 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 talents, man, if you ain't out there putting this money to, uh, to the exchanges, if you ain't out there teaching, if you ain't out there always abounding, unmovable in the word of the Lord, man, hey, the Lord is going to count you as an unbeliever, man. Why? Because with, uh, without faith, it is impossible to please him. Because him that cometh must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him, man. We read it earlier. From there, let's go to Sirach 20 and 31. Can I get a grab this precept? Of course you can, bro. Uh, Sirach 4 and 23 says, Refrain not to speak when there is occasion to do good, and hide not thy wisdom in her beauty. Mm. For by speech, wisdom shall be known. And learning by the word of the tongue. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Beautiful precept, man. I have one too. Get it right. This is uh, this is Luke eleven and thirty three. It says, "No man, when he hath lighted a candle, put it in a secret place, neither under a bushel, but on a candlestick, that they which come in may see the light." Exactly, man. Yahweh said he made us the light of the world, man. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. So we gotta shine his light, man. The scripture says what? That uh, 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 the commandment is a lamp and the law is light. You see? So we should be out there pushing this word, man. Because this word is the law. Law, I come in, as a matter of fact, is, is <coughs> I'm jumping ahead. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's in the lesson still. Okay. Can we get to Sirach 20? This is Sirach 20 and 31. 20. So like, this is Sirach 20 and 31. Mm -hmm. It says, better is he that had of his folly. Than a man that hideth his wisdom. See, better is he that hideth his folly, man, than a man that hideth his wisdom. You see? Because you guys that's the, uh, that, ain't, that ain't putting your talent to the exchanges, man, hey, hey, we read what's going to happen to you, dog. Well, matter of fact, you can read it on your own. Because we are commanded to go out to the highways and hedges and compel them to come in, man. And not only just, just on whatever uh, uh, camp day we go out, but th also throughout the week, push out these videos, man. These electronic epistles. This, the, the New Testament is it, it, all letters, man. Each time we make a video, man, this is a letter that we write and exhorting each other, reproving each other. Um, Ecclesiastes 9 and 10. Ecclesiastes, verse 9. Uh, Chapter 9, verse 10. Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. Yep. And what did our hand find to do, man? This word, man. Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shah seemed fit to entrust us with the gospel. You see? So you put your hand to this word. It says what? The, uh, no man that, uh, uh, put his hand to the plow and look it back and spit for the kingdom, man. So we put our hand to the plow, man. So whatever you put your hand to, uh, 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 to do, do with all thy might. Read that again, brother. Um, Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 10. Whatsoever thy hand findest to do, do it with thy might. For there is no work 
nor the vice, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave, whither thou goest. Exactly, man. So, hey, hey, so we got to do this work to the end, you know? Whether it's latest for us to give up the ghost or whether uh, 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 we see those chariots crack the clouds, man, they get beamed up into one. You see? But as long as you abound in this work, man, hey, you're going to receive that reward. Romans 8, joint heirs with your hour shine, man. You see? That's the reward that we're looking for, man. And you got to believe that that reward is prepared. The brother read it, you shall receive a hundredfold, man. You get that from me? That's it on that please, yeah. Can you get this piece of that shit? Right around, This is uh, Matthew 24 and 46. Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he comes, shall find so doing. Yep. Verily I say unto you, that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. But, and if, oh, well, well, yeah, there you go. You know, um, let me read it again. It says, Verily I say unto you, that he shall make him ruler over, over all his goods. So if you you know if you stay diligent, yeah, and you and you do what you're supposed to do, hey, the most the most has not gonna forget. He's gonna reward you. Yep. You know he's gonna give you uh, uh, everything that, that he promised. And what did Yahweh Shah receive? Everything. Yeah, yeah. The scripture says it was nothing that wasn't put under his feet, man. Yeah. Everything was put under him. You yeah. see, and the Lord said he, he said what? That's Yahweh Shah speaking. He shall make him ruler over all his goods, man. That's joint heirs, man. You see. That's what we pushing for, man. It says even the, the, the devils are subject to him. That's where you get a, uh, I mean, because you know, we might be also judging uh, uh, other angels, but a demon is a, is a lesser angel, man. We're going to be cursing motherfuckers to Satan, man. You know, we're going to have everything under our feet, man, if we just hold on to y'all watching y'all watch out. Mm. It says, uh, 48, but, and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, my Lord delayed his coming, and shall begin to smite his fellow servants, and to eat and drink with the drunken, mm -hmm. the Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him. Yeah, right, because he ain't watching. Because he ain't doing the work, because he ain't always abounding, man. Like the scriptures tell us to. Uh, How should I say watch? Because you know not when uh, your Lord cometh, man. Watching is doing his work. This is, um, and in an hour that he is not aware of, and shall cut him asunder, and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites, mm -hmm. there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Yeah, and that's what you can expect, man. Because you ain't doing what was commanded of you. You see? The first thing we Uh, First Timothy four and fifteen. Because it said, because of that Ecclesiastes said, whatever you uh, your hand finds to do, do it with all thy might. Right? Go ahead. Meditate upon these things. Like the law tells us to. Give thyself wholly to them. Love the uh, what, what is the first commandment? Love Yahweh by Hashem Yahusha with all thy heart, all thy soul, all thy mind, all thy spirit. You see, that's giving yourself wholly unto this man. Go ahead. That thy profiting may appear to all. Mm -hmm. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them. For in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that, that hear thee. Exactly, man. And them that hear thee, waking up more laborers so they can start laboring. So they can do their part, so they can fulfill their lot. You see? Uh, you can, you can re-hit that 2 Corinthians 9 and 6. Okay. Nine. 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 6. But this I say, he which soweth sparingly shall reap sparingly, yep. and, and he which soweth bountifully shall reap bountifully. Shall reap bountifully, man. Always abounding in the word of the Lord. You know? Ain't doing no videos, you just go out on Saturday. Or, 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 or you barely go out on Saturday, or whatever day you can Twice a month, you be there uh, work, dog. Weather conditions. Oh, my wife, uh, your kid. Uh, always a fucking excuse for something, man. Mm -hmm. This should come first, man. This is your this is your priority. Hey, how was I was 12 years old. What did he tell his parents, man? 
He said, know ye not that I must be about my father's business? So how much us? He told his parents that. <laughs> you see? Yeah. <laughs> Going through my infections, he just said that, get this uh, scripture in the book of Luke, chapter 14, real quick. Where, uh, talks about it was a situation like that we have a shot. Uh, 14, verse 9. Uh, yeah, for, uh, this is um, Luke chapter 14, verse 8. It says, Speak up too, bro. Yeah, uh, it's like Luke 14 and 8. It says, When thou art bidden of any man to a wedding, and sit not down at the highest room, lest a, a more honorable man than thou be bidden of him. And, and he that bade thee, and him come and say to thee, Give this man, give this man place, and thou begin with shame to take thy lowest, take the lowest room. Fuck it, did it? It says, But when thou art bidden, it's a uh, oh shit! It's, it's, it's verse sixteen. Yeah, it's right there. Uh, it says verse sixteen. It says then said he unto them, a certain man made a great supper and bade many, and sent his servant at supper, at supper time to say to them that were bidden, come for all things are now ready, and they all with one consent began to make excuse. The first said unto him. I have bought a piece of ground, and I must needs go go and see it. I pray thee, have me excused. Mm. Says another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen, and I go to prove them. I pray thee, have me excused. And another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. So that servant came and showed his lord these things. Then the master of the house, being angry to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and in the lanes, like in lanes of the city, and bring in hither the poor and the maimed, and the halt and the blind. And the servant said, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded, and yet there is room. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and the hedges, and compel them to come in, that, like, and compel them to come in, that my house may be filled. For I say unto you, that none of those men which were bidden shall taste of my supper. That's it. That's it. Because they all had an excuse to make, man. Or to be on your own, your own personal business. That oh man, I uh, no, it ain't just any time for me to feel like I gotta do my own thing. It ain't time. I ain't ready. No, well, hey, shit. Well, the Lord ain't gonna be ready for you. You think the Lord do things on your time, man? Or no, man, my, my wife, uh, you know, she told me I had a decision to make, you know, either teach the truth or to be with her. Well, that's an easy goddamn decision. But to a simp-ass nigga, guess what he's going to choose? You see? This is our woman, man. This is our life. The scriptures tell us this, man. Let her not go because she is thy life, man. This word, this wisdom. Uh, my wife did that, but as you can see, <laughs> this this is my wife, man. And hey, brother, get Proverbs ten and four, Proverbs nineteen and fifteen, yeah. and please ask ten and eight. You say you got people right. This is Matthew, chapter sixteen, verse uh, twenty six. It says, "But what is it's like? For what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man gain in exchange for his soul?" For the Son of Man shall come in, in the glory of his Father with his angels, and then he shall reward every man according to his works. All right, you know, and uh, the brothers have been in truth, striving for righteousness until the end. All right, Lord willing, if you're part elect, hey, you're going to receive uh, a, a hundredfold, like the scripture said. All right, but hey, that reward goes both ways, you know. Hey, these uh, these two-thirds, man, these, these heathens, man, they're going to receive a... a, a Weeping and gnashing of teeth. That's right. That's excruciating pain, man. Imagine somebody gnashing their teeth like, uh. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah. Proverbs 10 and 4. Yeah, yeah, it's Proverbs 10 and 4. It's Proverbs 19, 15. And it's Ecclesiastes uh, 10 and 18. Uh, this, is, uh, this is Proverbs chapter 10, verse 4. It says, He becometh poor that dealeth with a slack hand. But the hand of the diligent maketh the rich. Exactly, man. That's talking about in his word. He that spareth, uh, 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 he that soweth sparingly shall reap sparingly. 
But he that soweth bountifully shall reap bountifully. So if you slothful in your business, man, you're going to become poor. You can see that in, in the everyday business. You can see that play out in, in, in everyday life, man. It's the same within this word. But he that is diligent in his business shall be made rich. Rich in what? Rich in faith. Rich in wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. We read the other day, uh, what was it, yesterday, last night? Oh, the, oh, oh, the, uh, uh, the depths and the riches of wisdom. Romans, the 11th chapter. You see? Uh, me and Chacol, uh, Chacol was, uh, we went to this restaurant. He was telling me about the, that, that singer guy. And it's like, he's like, oh, man, he used to be a great singer, man. He used to get all those bitches. Look at this guy, he's sitting at a restaurant eating with some fat bitch, man. And this, it's the where, where are they now cats, man. Like, you know, you have these great speakers in Israel, and eventually their ass fall off the spirit's not dealing with them. Because why? They weren't exercising themselves within the spirit, man. They was being slow. Huh. And the Lord said what? Uh, to him that had, uh, to him it should be given more. I'm roughly, rough, it's a rough paraphrase, you know. But it says to him that had, uh, to him shall be given more. But to him that have not, it should be taken away even that which he has, man. You see? So if you ain't putting this money to the exchanges, guess what? We read what's going to happen. You're going to get that talent taken and given to the one that was doing business with it. We get Proverbs 19, uh, 15. Uh, Proverbs chapter 19, verse 15. Slothfulness Casteth into a deep sleep. And the Lord always woke up out of the uh, woke us out of the deep sleep. You see? The water y'all by shot me on shot is right, brother. But slothfulness cast back into that deep sleep. That's right, yeah. You fall back into that, uh, yeah, you return back to your vomit, as the scripture says. Go ahead. And an idle soul shall suffer hunger. Shall suffer hunger and idle souls. So if you just standing around, man, you're gonna suffer hunger. You see? Hunger meaning what? Meaning you ain't going to get fed this, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You're not getting fed this corn, this wine, this oil, this water. You see? Ecclesiastes 10 and 18. Uh, is, uh, Ecclesiastes 10 and 18. Let's grab Proverbs 11, verse 24. Uh, Ecclesiastes 10 and 18. By much slothfulness, the building decayed. And ain't we building a, 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 a building? The house of David. You see? But also we're building ourselves. The scripture says that ye are the temple. Right. So we're cleaning our temple and we're building ourselves up to be a part of that tabernacle of, uh, of David. Because Lord willing, we're a part of the elect. Each one of us is a stone. Each one of us is, 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 is a, a single member that's, that's, that, that's parted to build this grand temple, the tabernacle of David, man. The third temple which we're spiritually building. It says what, that uh, uh, the holy city, Jerusalem, coming out of the sky, man, that's the temple, man. That's those elect men, you see? Go ahead. It says, and through idleness of the hands, the house dropped it through. See, in idleness of the hands, the house dropped it through, man. So it decay, it rots, hey, man, it gets polluted. It gets polluted, man. The Lord says, touch not the unclean thing and I will receive you. But yet idleness, man, it's gonna, it's, you're gonna, you're gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna lead to that. It's gonna lead to that pollution. It's gonna lead to that uncleanness. You know. Go ahead, bro. This is Proverbs ten, verse four, starting verse three. It says, "The Lord will not suffer the souls of the righteous to famish, but He will cast away the substance of the wicked. He becometh poor that dealeth with a slack hand, yep. but the hand of the diligent maketh rich." God, you know, so ain't like the brothers, like the brothers getting into it. Hey, being in this truth, man, yeah, you, know, you can't be uh, sitting around uh, like like you went to the other day on your leisure time, you know what I'm saying, playing Xbox and, 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 and watching Empire and shit, you know? Hey, you gotta get in, you gotta get in this word, man. Yeah. If, if you wanna be, if you want, if you wanna be a uh, liberal, the liberal soul should be made fat. Oh, we gonna get that. That's the lesson. If you, hey, if you want, if you want to gain wisdom, not to understand it, hey, you pray, but at the same time, you gotta actually put in that word. That's right. You know? You gotta open these scriptures and read, man. You gotta watch those videos. You gotta look up words. You gotta uh, uh, research history. It's work, man. It's labor. Shit, nobody said when you come into the truth it's gonna be easy. Actually, it's gonna get harder, man. Sirach 2 and 1, prepare thy soul for temptation, man, when you come to serve the Lord. 
you wake up and realize that everything is fucked up, man. You see? You got to walk that thin line, man. You got to make a, a mixture of what you're eating, what you're putting into your body. When you out in the world, you don't get no fuck. You eating whatever, doing whatever. But this this, this word, Yahweh Basham Yahweh makes you conscious to all these things, man. Making sure I ain't offending one of these brothers. Making sure I'm not going off according to the law, according to the scriptures. That's a whole lot that you got to think about, that you got to place upon uh, 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 your mind, man. That's one of the things you meditate on on the scriptures. But that's why it says in Luke, the 14th chapter, it says that you better count that cost, man. Yeah, it's a, it's a great and grand reward at the end of this. But shit, second entrance of the seventh chapter says what, man? That we got to go through that straight gate. We got to go through that, uh, that narrow passage with fire on the right and water on the left, man. And only one man can go that find it. You got to go through the dangerous place, man, in order to get to that uh, 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 pleasantness that's on the other side. So you got to count the cost, man. But it's a beautiful, hey, hey, faith in your by Sham Yahweh Sham, man, you can see the end. No matter what we're going through, I know what's on the other side, man. And that's, that's knowing that, hey, hey, the Lord is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him, man. Because the brothers quoted the scripture earlier. What, what's that? Sirach 2 and 10? It says what, man? Hey, hey, hey. Who have believed in Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shalom, and what's forsaken? Or who have called upon his name and, or, or, or what's confounded or left out there, man? Hey, it says in the book of Psalms that uh, I, have, I have been young and now I'm old, but I have uh, yet to see the righteous begging for uh, bread, man. Roughly paraphrasing. No, no, no. Proverbs uh, 11 and 24. Sorry. Proverbs 11 and 24. There is that scattereth and, and yet increaseth. Yep, there is that scattereth and yet increaseth. Matter of fact, this is a precept that's going to that's gonna just break it down. Because I was going to, you know, the word precept upon precept. Um, brother grab Proverbs. Five and fifteen. I'll read fifteen and sixteen. This is uh, the book of Proverbs, chapter five, verse fifteen. Drink waters out of thine own cistern, and running waters out of thine own well. Exactly, man. And that's what the fountains of living water, which is Yahweh Basham Yahushai. You see, Yahushai said that what, man? Hey, if you drink of this water, you will never thirst again, man. You know? Can you read that again for me, Bible Shah? This is uh. Proverbs chapter 5, verse 15. Drink waters out of thy own cistern, mm -hmm. and running waters out of thy own well. Uh -huh. Verse 16. And running waters out of our own well, man. Mm -hmm. You know, out of our own cisterns, man. You see, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, the law, statutes, and commandments that Yahweh Basham Yahweh have, have given unto us. But what does it say in Jeremiah? It says that uh, uh, my people have done a great evil. They have forgotten me, the fountain of living water. And they have a, a, a broken them out cisterns, broken cisterns that can hold no water, man. Go ahead, bro. Yeah. Verse 16, it says, let thy fountains be dispersed abroad. Let thy fountains be dispersed abroad. What's the fountains? The waters, man. John 7 and 38, Yahweh shall say, he that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. What's the water? Deuteronomy 32. It says, my doctrine, my teachings shall drop as the rain. It shall distill as the dew. Isaiah 55 and 11, the Lord said, what? His, his word is as the rain, man. As the rain don't come back, so his word don't go back. So this, the fountains dispersed is what? Wisdom cried without. She uttereth her voice in the streets. In the book of Sirach, the Lord said, he made, he made wisdom to abound like the Euphrates, man. So it's compared unto wisdom, water, you see? Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Verse 17, it says, Let them be only thine own and not strangers with thee. Let them be ours and not strangers with thee. Let you know that these heathens ain't a part of this. You know? But go back to that proverb. Let's sit on that, bro. Proverbs chapter 11, verse 24. There is that scattereth and yet increaseth. What is you scattering? Matter of fact, um, I think I'm in. I'm there. This is Proverbs 10. This Proverbs 10 and 21, it says, The lips of the righteous feed many. 
the lips of the righteous speed many. Why? Through the words. The book of Job, it says that the, uh, uh, the ear tried words as the mouth tasted meat. So when we hear these things, you know, when we hear these scriptures, man, we're eating. The Lord told uh, Ezekiel what? To eat the whole roll, man. He said it was in my mouth sweet as honey. He told John the same thing. Proverbs 9, it says, wisdom has slain her beast. She has mingled her wine. You see? So the Lord, the Lord analogies is, is amazing, man. It's amazing. Go ahead. Proverbs 11, 24 in the middle. And there is that with... Oh, it's like, it's like I, I didn't finish this. Okay. Proverbs 10, 21. The lips of the righteous feed many, but fools die for want of wisdom. Proverbs 11 and 24, there is that scattereth and yet increaseth, and there is that up, uh, withholdeth more than is meat. But, See, it, but it's, the, it's him that scattereth and yet increaseth. It's going gonna, it's gonna to break it down in the, next, in the next verse. But it says it's one that withholdeth and yet do what? And there is that withholdeth more than is meat, mm -hmm. but it tendeth to poverty. Hide your talent, man, because you ain't growing. And the grace and the knowledge of Yahweh, I mean, Yahweh, as the scriptures tell us to. Go ahead. Uh, verse 25. The liberal soul shall be made fat. See, that's what it means, man. Him that him, him that scattereth. Read, read, go back and read the top verse again, Bible okay. Shai. Uh, Proverbs 11, 24. There is that scattereth and yet increaseth. There is that scattereth and yet increases. Now jump to 25. 25. The liberal soul shall be made fat. Being liberal, man. Giving abundantly. You see, is the one that scattereth and yet increaseth. So the liberal soul that giveth abundantly shall what? Be made fat. He's going to increase. Go ahead. And he that watereth shall be watered also himself. And how do you water, man? What it says in, in 1 Corinthians, the third chapter, it says, uh, what, uh, Apollo's water? The yeah. Paul water? In, uh, Apollo's in planet? Or I might have it backwards or, you know. I think it's, uh, but it's the most high that gave the increase, man. You water by yeah. teaching this word. What's the the sower soweth the seed. The Yahweh shot gave a parable. You know, the sower soweth the seed. Drop the word. The first time hearing the word, the seed is sown. And then you going back, watching the videos, you going back, proving the scriptures like the church of Berea, going back and seeing whether those things were so. That's being watered, man. And your how about Shem Yahweh gives you the increase, meaning he, he opens your mind and gives you the understanding. I got it right here. Let it run. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 3. And four, it's like in verse five, it says, Who then is Paul? And who is Apollo? It says, But ministers by whom ye believe, even as the Lord gave to every man. I have planted, Apollo watered, but God gave the increase. That's it. That's it. So the liberal soul shall be made fat, and he that watereth shall be watered also himself. You read the 26 verse, bro? Come on. Proverbs 11 and 26. He that withholdeth corn. The people shall curse him. You see? He that withholdeth corn, and people shall curse him. What's corn? It's talking about him that withholdeth back his, 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 his green beans and corn and shit. You know what I'm saying? People gonna curse him. Let's find out. Let's get Psalm 78, 24. And the brother get John 6 and 51. You read that Proverbs one more time, brother. Why did these brothers get these Proverbs 11 and 26. He that withholdeth corn, the people shall curse him. You see, he that withholdeth corn, the people shall curse him. Who got that song? I got it. This is Psalm 78 and 24. Sorry, 23. It's 23 seconds. It says, though he had commanded the clouds from mm -hmm. God. This is um, Proverbs 78 and 23. It says, though he had commanded the clouds from above, and opened the doors of heaven, and had rained down manner upon them to eat. Yeah, it's talking about in the wilderness, right? Go ahead. And had given them of the corn of heaven. And have given them of the corn of heaven, which which is representation of that manna that we uh, ate in the wilderness, right? Can we get John six fifty one? Yeah, this is uh, John six. Can I start at fifty? Go ahead, bro. This is John six and fifty. It says, "This is the bread which cometh down from heaven, that a man may eat thereof and not die." Verse 51. Mm -hmm. I am the living bread. Ooh. Yeah, which I said, he is that living bread. Go ahead. Which came down from heaven. Mm -hmm. If any man eat of this bread, 
he shall live forever. So Yahushua is that corn, man. He gave the analogy. He said what? He said that uh, if the corn abide alone, you know, uh, I think it said if the corn die, it stand alone and it die, you know, it dies alone. But but uh, uh, but it gives much increase. You just picture it, you know, picture it in your, in your mind. It's just one stalk of corn. So you're like, damn, this one stalk of corn there, you know what I'm saying? He's lonely as hell, right? You know, but then once it falls and dies, that corn got how many seeds on it? So once 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 that corn hit the ground and it dies and those seeds uh, start to grow, Keep how much how much more corn come back? Keep multiplying every time. You see, and that was that was the sim symbolic of what Yahweh shot that bread, that corn, man. He died on that cross for us, man. And now look, we're coming back, we're abundantly through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh shot that remnant though. But it says the righteousness. Uh, what? Uh, let's get it. Isaiah ten, Isaiah ten, and um. Let's start at 21. Is that 10, 21. Isaiah 10 and 21. It says, The revenant shall return, even the revenant of Jacob, yep. unto the mighty power. Unto Yahweh Bashami Yahweh Shah. Go ahead. For though thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return. The consumption decree shall overflow with righteousness. Woo, shall overflow with righteousness, baby. You know? And that's what you see through the spirit of power, Yahweh Bashami, Yahweh Shai, man. Why? Because that standard being lifted. Yahweh Bashami, Yahweh Shai's name has been preached in the earth. You see, the truth, which we have been so long without fruit, as it says in the second entrance, shall be declared, man. And it's being declared. And it's glorious. You see? Jump back to that uh, uh, Proverbs, brother. Proverbs 11 and 26. He that would No, it's like, it's like you was reading John, right? Yeah, John. Finish that up, brother. Kind of just, just the 51st verse. Uh, this is John chapter 6, verse 51. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. Mm -hmm. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. Yep. And the bread that I will give is my flesh. And what's, what's the... Hey, can brother get Hebrews 10 and 7? Hebrews 10 and 7. Because it says, let's eat this whole roll. So we're eating this word, right? Who is the word? The word was made flesh, <laughs> right? And y'all was just saying, eat my flesh. How do we eat his flesh? Hebrews 10 and 7. This is Hebrews 10 and 7. Then said I, lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me mm -hmm. to do thy will, O God. To do thy will, O power, man. You see? And like Apostle Gabari, you know, he, he broke down, it was a couple years back. That when Yahweh was born, what did his mother put him in? A manger. What is a manger? It's a feeding troll. You see? Yahweh Shah being that word, man. And what it says in Numbers, I believe it's the 16, it says that uh, 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 those motherfuckers that didn't believe in the wilderness, as it says in Hebrews 4, it says that uh, uh, the word was preached unto us as well as unto them, but them not, not being mixed with faith. You know? So those whole ass niggas in the wilderness, man, the scripture says in Numbers that they loathed the light bread. They loathed that manna, man. They hated that manna. And that manna represents Yahweh Shah, which represents the word. That's why it goes back, Yahweh Shah said what? It ain't you that they hate. It's me that they hate. And it ain't me that they hate. It's my father that sent me. You see? Let's go back to that Proverbs, though. Proverbs 11 and 26, he that withholdeth corn, mm -hmm. the people shall curse him. The people shall curse him, man. That's why the scripture said, uh, 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 muzzle not the ox that treadeth out the corn. That was symbolic of what? The workers, man. We're the oxmen that's treading out the corn. What's the corn? It's word. So when you, if you withholding that word, if you withholding that corn, if you hide your talent, if you hide your wisdom, why? Because you don't believe that it's, that it is a, it's a reward laid up for us, man. Title of this lesson is called uh, our, our Labor is Not in Vain. So that means what? That means work. James says, what, what did James say, man? Show me thy faith without thy works. When he called him, old fool, I will show you my faith by my works, man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, bro. Proverbs 11 and 26 in the middle. But blessing shall be upon the head of him that selleth it. Ooh, but blessing will be upon the head of him that selleth it. That selleth what? That selleth the corn, man. That's why in Matthew 25, 
uh, uh, the wise uh, 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 virgins told those foolish virgins what? Go to the sellers and buy. Who are the sellers? The sellers is the men that's teaching the word. That's right. It says buy the truth. Who are you buying it from? You see? You probably got any last scriptures? Yeah, I got a few. This is uh, Proverbs chapter 4, verse 8, going into the, this word that we're supposed to be teaching and how it's going to bring us to a reward. And that the, the Lord is not a man to lie, as it says in the scriptures as well. This is Proverbs chapter 8, verse eight, or chapter 4, verse 8. So like Exalt her, and she shall promote thee, and shall bring thee to honor. When thou, do, when thou dost embrace her, verse 9, she shall give to thine head an ornament of grace. Yep. A crown of glory shall she deliver to thee. Ooh. Verse 10. Can I keep Read going? that again. This is, uh, sure. this is uh, Proverbs chapter 10, verse 8. It says, Exalt her, and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor, and when thou dost embrace her. Verse 9. She shall give to thine head an ornament of grace. A crown of glory shall she deliver to thee. A crown of glory shall she deliver to thee, right? Can I, can I precept you real fast? This wisdom of Solomon 5, verse 16. Uh, I'm going to start at 15. It says, but the righteous live forevermore. Their reward also is with the Lord. And the care of them is with the Most High. Our, Therefore shall they receive a glorious kingdom and a beautiful crown from the Lord's hand. For with his right hand shall he cover them, and with his arm shall he protect them. And who is his right hand, man? It said we shall get a, a, a crown from the Lord's hand. Well, you could go to uh, second entrance, what's that, the second chapter? For the vision that Ezra seen. Mm -hmm. hey, uh, on the right hand of uh, Yahweh is who? Yahweh Shai. On the right hand of Yahweh Shai is who? Is the left. This is uh, second Edges 2 and 42. I, Ezra, saw upon the Mount Zion a great people whom I could not number, and they all praised Yahweh with songs. And in the midst of them there was a young man of a, of a high stature, taller than all the rest. And upon every one of their heads he said crowns. Mm. And was it, it just said you shall get, they shall receive a glorious kingdom and a crown from the Lord's hand, man. Let's find out who that is. Keep going, bro. And was more exalted, which I marvel at greatly. Mm -hmm. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, These be they that have not, that, that have put mm -hmm. off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal. That's and right. Confessed put off carnality, you see, and put on spirituality, man. You know? Because, because this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, this spirituality is what's going to get you to that immortality. Carnality going to get you to what? Immortality. What's immortality? Death, man. That's what mortal. We're mortal. You see? You're going to die. But go ahead. And have confessed the name of Yahweh. Now are they crowned and receive palms. Mm, yeah. Confess the name of Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shah. Now are they crowned and receive poems. Go ahead, bro, keep going. It says, um, Then said I unto the angel, What young person is it that crowneth them mm -hmm. and giveth them palms in their hands? So he answered and Palms represents me, the victory, man. Gave him, uh, we get the victory through Yahweh Shah. Go ahead. So he answered and said unto me, This is the Son of the Most High. This is the Son of Yahweh, man. Who is that? That's the word. That's the first we got. That's Yahweh Shai, man. You're gonna receive a glorious crown from, from his from his hands, dog. Being the being the right hand of Yahweh. Our labor is not in vain, man. Go ahead. If you believe it, go ahead. So he answered and said unto me, It is the son of Yahweh. Whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of Yahweh. Mm. For the name of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shah, man. You see? So we coming in the name of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shah. Go ahead. Then the angel said unto me, 
go thy way and tell my people what manner of, of things and how great wonders of Yahweh thy power thou hast seen. And we tell you, man, what great wonders that we see. How do we see them? Through these scriptures, because the Lord opened our minds, man. A prophet was called what before he was called a prophet? A seer, man. You can see these things. You can visualize it. And what it says in First Peter, uh, it says, uh, uh, "Damn, let me get it. Let me get it." This is a uh, what's the Second Peter one, and um, I'm gonna just get straight to the point. Verse nine. It says, "But he that lacketh these things, him that lacketh the things that that that, that uh, Peter said about." Let, let me start up slacking. This is um. 2 Peter 1 and 4, it says, Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these you might be partakers of the divine nature, right? Having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. And besides this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to your virtue knowledge. And virtue goes to morals, man. Discipline yourself. What is our morals, man? Our, our conduct. Hey, it's according to these scriptures. Add to your virtue, knowledge, and to knowledge, temperance, balance, you see? And to temperance, patience, because you get the patience, man, from Romans, the fifth chapter. It says, uh, we glory in tribulations, because tribulation work with patience. Patience work experience, and experience work with hope. It all lines up, you see? It says, and to knowledge, this is 2 Peter 1, verse 6, and to knowledge, temperance, and to temperance, patience, and to patience, godliness. Godliness, man. Having that reverence, having that fear toward Yahweh Bashami Yahweh Shai. And if you got that fear toward Yahweh Bashami Yahweh Shai, you're going to reverence his priest. You're going to have that reverence toward his priest and his men. So you're going to treat thy neighbor as thyself, man. You see? Godliness, man. And to godliness, brotherly kindness. And to brotherly kindness, charity. You know, that's what we show unto each other, man. Charity is love. Genuine love. You know? For if these things be in you and abound, they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Yahweh Shah. So if you do these things, man, you're going to always abound in the spirit. You see? But he that lacketh these things is blind. And cannot see far off. See, he can't see far off. He can't see the vision that we see. You know? The water y'all by Shami Al Shah that he gave us the faith, the zeal, and the passion to go do it, man. It says, and had forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. Verse 10. Wherefore the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure. What you gotta do always abound. In the word, unmovable. Everything that we talked about in the lesson, like the Spirit brought this up, like, you know what I'm saying? This wasn't even in the lesson. These last couple scriptures, you know, it says, Give diligence to make your calling and election sure, for if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. You know? Yeah, you can end it on. Yeah, go ahead, bro. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 10. It says, Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. And the Spirit brought it back, man. Wait, the Spirit brought it back. Whatever so thy hand findeth to do, guess what your hand found to do, man? Push that plow. Tread out that corn. You see? Go ahead. For there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave, whether thou goest. In the grave, whether thou goest, because you're going to die. We're fighting for that immortality we just read about. You know? It says uh, the Most High is not, it's not the God of the dead, man. You know? Shit, you, you know the Most High when, you, when you're in the spirit world. It's, it's no more faith, man. It's no more faith. He's right there. It's like you can't deny the Lord. Like, shit, you in his presence, you receiving that godly energy. You're not in the flesh. No. You have to know the Most High in his flesh while you're being tempted. You know? When you can't see him or behold him with, a, with, a, with heavenly eyes. Well, yeah, it's like, I, I meant heavenly because, you know, you're in the spirit world. But. Oh, God. 
Alright, hey. Go ahead, go ahead, brother. This is uh, Second Ezra 9 and 7. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby he hath believed. You know? But hey, the, the most high is uh, like the scripture we brought up. Blessed is that service, for when his Lord comes, shall find so good. You know? And, you know, the most high is not going to forget, he's going to reward you. Uh, Romans chapter 2 starting at verse 3 it says and thinkest thou this old man that judges them which do such things and thou doest the same it says that thou shalt escape the judgment of God it says or despisest thou the riches of his goodness and forbearing and long suffering not knowing that goodness of God leadeth thee to repentance but after thy hardness and impudent heart treasures up unto thyself wrath against the day of wrath and revelation and the righteous and the righteous judgment of God. It says, Who will render to every man according to his deeds, and to them who by praise patiently continue and well doing, seek for glory and honor and immortality and eternal life. It says, But unto them that are contentious and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness and indignity, it's like indignation and wrath. Tribulation and anguish upon every soul of man that doeth evil. And through the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, man. You see, I don't want none of that. That first part sounded good. What did it say? Immortality, glory. eternal life, glory, glory, honor. You see, we got a reward, man. Your labor ain't, our, our labor is not in vain, you know? As long as we pray to Yahweh Basham Yahweh to uh, continue to increase our faith and keep us on this road, man. Keep us on this path. Cast me not out of thy presence. Uh, Psalms 51, 16. That's the last verse. Let's look at the end on that. Psalms 51, 16. But thou is the sire is not sacrificed. No, no, the eleven is locking. Psalms, uh, Psalms 51 and 11. Mm -hmm. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. John, you know, yeah. cast me not out of thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me, man. You know, that should be our prayer to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah, to keep us in this thing, to keep us on this path, you know. So with that, we give all praises, honor, and glory to the Yahweh. Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone. And salutations to all you brothers who preach in the gospel in truth and in sincerity and in charity. Lord willing, this was edifying. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.